Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tiffy Sky here and this video is nine horror stories animated completion of February 2020 uploaded by Wancy Entertainment. Okay, before we get to the video, I just want you to know I'm a big big fan of horror things so so much. Like I'm a big fan of horror movies, horror stories, horror Games, everything is horror. I really love them. I'm a big fan of horror. So, and we are here with an amazing video. Nine horror stories animated, completion of February 2020 by Wednesday Entertainment. Okay, I link this amazing channel in the description. Wednesday Entertainment, go subscribe to that channel if you are a big fan of horror things too. So, before we get to the video, please make sure you hit the like button. Most importantly, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and more reactions, more games. I'm gonna start gaming when I get my PS4 in this room. All right, now let's see what this nine horror story is all about. My mom disappeared, and I ate a strange meat. I don't oh. know what to do. It all started three weeks ago. Oh. My mom disappeared. What? She was at home in the morning, nothing different. She hugged me, saying goodbye, wished me luck with uh -huh. school, and gave me a packed lunch. Okay. And when I got home that evening, she wasn't there. She didn't come back. So we called the police, and all of the search was set up. Oh. The whole town came together and held a giant search party, lasting through oh, the wow, night, father but there was no the sign of her at all. She had just completely vanished. The weeks since oh God, were hell no. for both me and my dad. Mm. Rumors started spreading through town, too. and particularly around the school, that my mom had been murdered. Why? took things a lot worse than I did. He was a carpenter, so it wasn't unusual behavior for him to disappear into the garage for a long time to work on a chair or table or something. Okay, wait. Especially it was what he always did when he was stressed. Mm -hmm. I figured that's just how he was dealing with the grief. We barely spoke over the next couple weeks. He was locked in there from sunrise to midnight. Uh huh. And we might bump into each other at one point, but he'd just say goodnight and went to bed. Your dad is sure, kind of weird. It was a bit weird, but I creepy. understood that he was Seriously, going through look a lot. His face like black. But the longer he spent in there, I don't understand. the less I was sure he was doing woodwork. Uh-huh. There were large bottles of bleach popping up in our bins. Okay. And Dad barely took any break. One night, I had waited for him to go to sleep, and I crept down to try to open the door. But it was locked tight, and Dad oh, always no. had the key. Mm -mm. But today, when I came home from school, he was in the kitchen. Freshly shaved, showered, had a rested face. Okay. He was totally different from what he'd been for the last couple of weeks. Oh, no. He was cooking. My dad used to love grilling, and his steaks were always amazingly delicious. Okay. So it was a nice change, since I fed myself only pot noodles and soup for a few weeks. Okay. He set down two of the biggest, bloodiest steaks I had ever seen in my life. Oh. But it looked kind of okay. different. Okay, that's a strange meat. Not bad, but just different. Dad tucked into a steak well, straight away, your and father, I did too. You can trust them. It was a bit tough to chew. But the but seasoning and too. flavors <laughs> tasted just as good as the rest of the steaks were. Uh-huh. We had finished pretty soon, and I was feeling full and satisfied. Then Dad said something I can't stop thinking about. I doubt they'll ever find her body. What? His voice didn't sound sad or depressed. What? I didn't say anything. Just stared at him. Hearing what he oh, said no. sent shivers down my spine. Excuse then, me. I thought of the steaks. What? The late nights in the garage, hundreds of bleach bottles, and my dad's weird behavior. Did he feed me her body? Or am I just overthinking it? What do you mean? What do I do? Is this over? Hold on. I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Hold up, what happened? Her mother got murdered, okay. But, the question is... His father killed her or not? 
and then he feed the mother's meat. Oh my god, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Seriously. Oh shit. Never mind. Holy shit. I see something an unbelievable creature. When I was mm -hmm. 16, my parents, brother, and I were living in the an background apartment music on the fourth is kind of cool. <laughs> Every night, we heard crazy laughing outside of our house. At first, we just thought it could have been a neighbor taking care of a okay, sick person, so story. we didn't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Then one night, I heard mm -hmm. laughing again. No. It was 11 p.m., and everyone in my house was sleeping. All right. I got out of bed and looked out the window. And I saw, you saw someone. Oh no! And as soon as I looked out the window, the laughing stopped. It was kind of weird, but anyway, I just went back house? into bed and slept. After that, I had to use the bathroom at 4:30 a.m. The bathroom was downstairs in the hall, and uh -huh. the bathroom window yeah. was facing a big field of grass the in the parking lot. Is... After I finished using the bathroom and washed my hands, I heard that crazy loud laugh again for about a whole 30 seconds. It sounded like this person didn't even get tired. He seemed that he needed to catch his breath from this loud and long laughing. I proceeded to look out the window again, and then I saw a group of about five dogs going crazy around something. And when the dogs moved, I absolutely felt fear. There was something. Another dog. Oh. I think it was a dog. Thank you. It had a dog body and paws, but not a dog face. Excuse me? It had a human <laughs> face, and it was staring at me. What? It looked at me for a minute and then started to slowly oh smile. Oh my god. Oh. Then laughed again. And that was the oh, same you, voice you that I've heard constantly. Bad teeth, baby. I He's ran got, to my room. Like a I couldn't go back to sleep. The next morning, I told my parents and brother what had happened. Uh huh. They thought I had a nightmare. Well, yes, I of said course. that I they swear it wasn't a nightmare, but they didn't believe me. They just laughed and ignored it. Everything felt real. I know it was 100% real. Maybe it's a real, really But the next few days went by, and I didn't hear anything. I don't believe it. One day, it was getting so quite weird. dark outside. Maybe it wasn't either. I did end up getting a cold from swimming, so my parents and brother went out grocery shopping without me. All right, goodbye. It was 9 p.m., and I took my dog for a walk for a little while. Uh huh. There was oh, an abandoned house too. down the block, and my dog took off running to a bush suddenly. It was like something caught his attention. I ran after my dog, and literally, I had to crawl under a fence to go and get him. Uh huh. When I finished crawling under the fence, I ended up cutting my knee. But thankfully, I uh -uh. got my dog, and when I looked up, there that thing was. Damn it! That dog with a human face. We oh were face shit! To face. Mm. Mm -mm. It had glowing green eyes, and it had definitely human face mm. features. And the head was bald. I screamed, and it just started that scary laughing again. I ran away with my dog mm -mm. and it came back home. Just run. Well, I'm 18 okay. now, Thank and my you. family and I moved away Call to another police. place. I don't know what the heck that thing first. was, and why I've seen it twice. But I'm just glad that I don't see it anymore. Uh huh. What the hell? What was the last sentence? Wait, 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 wait. What was that last sentence? All right. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why the dog? Just I recently moved out to a tiny to university a in a different like town, so I rented a flat right in the dog. Oh, shit. Every morning, I took my bicycle, which I keep in the basement of my building, uh -huh. and went to my lectures. Uh -huh. Usually, the neighborhood is quiet, but one oh, well. night around 1 o'clock a.m., my door phone rang. This was unusual, but I brushed it off as a mistake from someone who got drunk. Yes, it maybe. rang again. But I kept ignoring it. This happened at least three different times, so it began to annoy me. You have to take care One of it. One day, well. I returned from my lecture and found a bus ticket placed on my door handle. This what? ticket was from a bus in my hometown, and it appeared to be mine, as the bus number on it was the bus that I frequently used. Uh. At this moment, I started to get concerned that someone was pranking me. Uh -uh. That same night, I kept my front window a bit open to keep an eye on the entrance. 
Okay. I live on the second floor, so it's too high for anyone to climb. I shut the lights and waited. Hmm, but and someone climbed. Moment, I know somebody will climb. Again. Okay, This no. time, I checked through the window and there was a shadowy figure of a man. Oh, he shit. waited for about five minutes and then left. I considered oh, calling the police, but I had nothing to report besides a strange man ringing my door phone late at night. So Why? You have to call it. But what happened you have to some call days the police after, for almost this. made Why you me not go understand crazy. Me? It was around 3 a.m. Hmm. and the door phone rang again. By this time though, I heard the front door shut. Oh shit. Someone must have forgotten to lock it. So I assumed that the man was now inside the building. Terrified, I went to the kitchen and grabbed the biggest knife I had. Oh. Then All I right. stood behind the front door and waited. The doorbell rang. I think my stomach dropped at that point. He rang again and then knocked strongly. I stayed frozen for an eternity until I couldn't hear anything. I was relieved and went to sleep after a while, which in hindsight was very stupid. As I should have made sure that the man had left the building. The following you are crazy morning, as I was girl. Why are you lecture, not calling the police? I noticed some scratches near the hmm. front door's handle, as if someone had tried to mess with the lock. I immediately went to my landlord, who lives right above me, not and explained really. everything that had been going on. Okay. He reassured me that everything would be fine. So I went to get my bike. But as I walked towards the basement door, I noticed that the lock was broken. Holy I finally shit. understood. The man from last night must have hidden in there. Okay. I hadn't heard the front door shut again yesterday. So that must have meant that the man was still here. Uh, oh no. I ran upstairs He's again hiding. and told my landlord. He got angry, grabbed a bat, and went to check. All I could hear oh. was struggling noises as my landlord beat that man senseless. Oh my god. We then called the police, who arrived a few moments later and arrested him. Okay, so who I is still this remember boy? his face to this day as he looked straight at me silently. It turned out that this man had been following me for days and was oh. trying to rob my house. Why? He had done the same thing to other people in the past. Oh no. I don't know what happened to him afterwards, but I assume he is in prison. What the I hell is wrong with people? People are crazy, like, being why? being so brave. We replaced the locks on every hmm. door, so now I feel safer. Well, I would have forgotten about this if I didn't open ah, my yeah. mailbox recently and find oh, no. another bus ticket. Mm -mm. I kind of like this girl as I was like, <laughs> from the first of story the last like <laughs> she was like screaming and scaring oh wow this was a cool story seriously so my I name is Michael oh, wait. and it Never happened mind. two years ago mm -hmm. I had some friends at the time let's call them Dan Sarah and Hazel mm -hmm. we decided to make our little party of explorers exploring forests and abandoned structures and such Okay. That day was our first exploration, an abandoned house just at the end of my neighborhood. We started walking toward that house and reached mm -hmm. it soon. People said that it was built in the 1940s. It had been owned by a man who abandoned it after moving to live in the nursing home, and the house has been left alone since then. We were outside for a while, and Dan yeah, says we should go inside. Crazy. We decided to check out the well first, which was next to the house. The well was stone and round, which looked exactly like the same thing as in the Ring movie. There was a piece of old wood board covering the top. All of a sudden, Dan jumped up on the board like a maniac. Then oh. his leg fell through the small Look, like some people are crazy. If he would have fallen in, some we'd have been in big trouble. Some people are freaking crazy. Why the hell? Luckily, he lifted his leg out of the opening and acted like <sighs> nothing just happened. Yeah. We went inside, and we could smell hmm. a very strong hmm. odor emitting from inside the house. Yeah, someone ate it, it was and then... very gross. But putting smells aside, we you. came across a bunch of weird things around the house. What? Clothes packed in a freezer, a fireplace uh -huh. with dolls inside, oh. an upside-down table. It kind of looked like an art museum. What? Things started to get kind of eerie. 
Then we entered a bedroom right. this time, and the roof was almost caved in. Mm-hmm. Clothes with stains everywhere, and a black ooze was rolled down across the ceiling. Uh. <laughs> I was going to puke at this point. And at that moment, we heard some distinct chewing sounds. And we freaked out, so we didn't have any choice except we were going outside. But when we left the room barely, we all froze. Oh, no. oh. A man who wore a scruffy whoa, 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 lime green shirt. Whoa, wait. And wait, don't look, look at this freaking bed. Oh, what? Look at this freaking man. Oh my God, his kind of so scary. I don't want to watch it serious. Look, 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 look at it. Look at this. Look at his face. Ah. Jim oh, Short shit. stood in front mm. of the front door. Uh huh. It seemed like that he didn't shower for a few months. He just stood there and glared at us with a fierce look. Oh my god. He oh. slowly lifted his arm to show us. It looked like a lump of raw meat with the blood still dripping from it. That guy was chewing his arm. All right, he's a my zombie. Legs were shaking. He's a zombie. I wanted to cry at that time. He's eating himself. Damn he it. shouted, "Get the hell out of here!" in a hoarse voice, just and we ran get away. Get out. <laughs> I couldn't believe what it was I saw. <laughs> After that, I never met oh. the same guy in my neighborhood. Oh, we shit. haven't told our parents yet. And I'm still wondering, would he still be there if I visit that house again? Why would you? Why you want to visit that house again? I don't freaking understand. Why? Why? Why you want to visit that house again? What was that man? Hold on, the question. What was that? It was a zombie. Just trust me. Oh my god. Okay, the creepiest clown on the street story animated. Okay. This story <coughs> happened in July in the year 2016. That background music is back. <laughs> we had the clown scandal in the US, and it was pretty crazy. Oh. People would dress up in clown costumes and stomp mm -mm. people. And sometimes even do worse. Oh, he's scary. My friend Miguel <laughs> and I went to spend the night at our other friend's house, whose name right. is Milo. Uh -huh. We showed up at his house around 3 p.m. We just watched movies and ate snacks, just regular teenager stuff. With movie. <laughs> Milo's house was next to a park, so we would usually go back to our home pretty late and walk the track. After watching movies all day, we eventually uh -huh. got oh. bored of it, so we decided to go to the park and walk around for a bit. When we that? got to the park, the time was exactly 2.36 a.m. You are crazy. At first, we just walked around, talking about girls at our school and other stuff. <laughs> After we rounded a corner around mm -hmm. the park bathrooms, that's when we saw him. Mm -hmm. There was a man in a black and white clown costume yeah. with no mask on, yeah. standing by the swings. Oh. He was looking Where's at us other with his head slightly tilted Where over to his right side. Okay. I mentioned that oh he had no God. mask, so we could clearly see his face. All right. The man but had I don't a think really dirty eyes. face with long, black, greasy hair. It doesn't have eyes. And he had a oh, creepy yes, smile on his face. Mm -hmm. His smile was almost stretched uh -huh. cheek to cheek. What is that behind his head? Even though he was pretty far from us, we uh -huh. could still see that he was staring right at us. Uh huh. So we Ron White looking at him. So we agreed to run back to Milo's house since we were on the side of the park. We started the countdown in a whisper. Mm. Three, two, one. Run. And then we started running as fast as Run. we could back to the house. Mm -hmm. After running for a minute, we made it to Milo Street and started running again toward his house in the middle of the road. Okay, wow. When we made it to his house, we turned around to look down the street. And to our horror, Okay, who was running man too? In the clown costume, Maybe standing at the end of the road. That's your only fault. Only illuminated by a street light. He wasn't running or walking towards us. He well, you're coming out there. of house. However, you know, like two we were all sure that he followed us. a.m. And what? down in his hand, what? we were able to see oh, that he was shit. holding a long, mm -hmm. sharp kitchen mm -hmm. knife. Get the hell out of there. We pounded the front door, ran inside Milo's house, and went into his living room. Oh, my God. Uh, Milo asked what was going oh on, God. so we explained everything that just happened. Oh, my God. He has one of those doorbells with a camera in it. 
So we sat in silence watching the monitor on the wall. He's really like, oh shit! We then saw the man walking down the street looking left and right at each of the houses. And probably checking you to see if we were hiding. Mm -hmm. He's hiding that the knife. That clown guy finally stood just oh, no. in front of Milo's house. Get out of my face. We Get all out got shocked, face. but we so tried shit. not to scream at all. Not on my face. You... And all of a sudden, he was looking through that camera lens of the doorbell. That was the creepiest moment I've ever had before. Uh huh. Luckily, he kept walking down the street, and we never saw him again. Oh really? And we've never spoke to anyone about this story. And to this day, I wonder what could have happened if we didn't decide to run to Milo's house when we did. Mm -mm. And creepy guy asked me if we can have children. Hi, I'm Evelyn, and I'm 13 years old. This happened when I went to my stepbrother who lives overseas. Uh huh. I was staying there for a week, and one day I went to a local market with my sister in law, her daughter, and my mom to buy groceries. Mm -hmm. After we bought some vegetables, my mom and Your my mom sister in law like wanted to get some bowls and cups. But I didn't really care about it because I just wanted to go home already. I was tired of walking. Mm -hmm. As we were walking to another shop, a uh -huh. guy who looked to be in his 40s or 50s came up to me and gave me a flower. To be honest, he looked uh -huh. kind of innocent at first. I didn't think that my mom or the that others smile noticed is what creepy. happened because they so just entered the like shop. Wait well, now I feel like I should tell you the cute. fact that I look older than I actually am. Because of the way I dress, some people think that I'm 16 or 17. Anyway, I will go back to the story. Okay. When he gave me a flower, I was a bit surprised, but just thanked him for it. Ugh. And before I turned to go, he then asked me if he could give a hug. Mm -hmm. I got a little scared because I always see lots of stuff on the internet, so I knew that I shouldn't let him hug me. So I tried to give him his flower back, and oh, I kept telling you. him that no, I'm not really comfortable with hugging strangers. Yes, but he kept thank insisting you. that he wanted to hug me, uh. and I refused again and again. All After right. he understood that he is not allowed to hug me, uh -huh. he seemed to have given up. Thank you. <laughs> so I thought it was over and Good turned boy. around. Then all of a sudden, he grabbed oh, me no. and tried to kiss the back of my hand. I immediately pulled my hand away, and at that point, I was scared but really angry too. I knew that my mom was in the shop, but the road was quiet, so the situation Defeat was the enough to make me afraid. After I pulled my hand away, he seemed surprised like I did something wrong to him. Then he asked me if we could get married. I was asking myself if he was joking or something. Yes, I refused it, of be. course, but then he asked if he could have children with me. <laughs> when I looked up at him, he was smiling and looked happy. Oh, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. <laughs> I was literally shaking. Mm -hmm. At that moment, a miracle happened. I'm not sure if he saw another girl or he just realized there was no point in trying anymore, but anyway, he said, All right, have a good day and walked to the other side of the road. I was relieved that he gave up, so I rushed into the store. I got next to my mom, but said nothing. And on Why? our way to the car, I threw Why the flower away, feeling disgusted. I could come back oh. home, and I felt thankful that I would be here with my family. After that, whenever I go outside, I always beware of everything, and wow. never receive any stuff from strangers. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was good. The creepy pizza delivery guy. Uh huh. My name is Chad, and this story took place when I was about 12. I was at home with my mom since mm -hmm. my dad was going to be out all night. Okay. Three of my best friends came to my house for a sleepover party. Yes, baby. We sat in my room playing PlayStation and PlayStation watching TV. Three. Mm -hmm. Soon we noticed it was getting pretty dark outside. Okay. Mom ordered pizza for dinner, so when the doorbell rang, we knew that the pizza had arrived. Yes, I When my mom wrong. opened the door, my friends and I were just right next to her, because yes. we were pretty hungry at that time. So okay. we waited for her to take her money out and pay for it. The pizza delivery guy seemed like he was in his mid-50s and looked pretty mm. old. Oh. 
While my mother was taking her money out, he looked at us. And all of a sudden, a creepy grin appeared on his face. And his eyes were wide open. Oh no. It was kind of weird, but we just laughed it off as we didn't think much of it. Oh no. My mom handed him the money. The pizza guy oh, gave no. us the pizza that... and then left. Mm -mm. We took the pizza in oh. my room and watched Netflix and everybody's while eating, we were right? eating. Look, 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 look. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. Did you see that my guy? My mom handed him the money. Was... The pizza guy gave Hold us on. the pizza and then left. Look, we look at that blue boy. Look, look at that blue boy. <laughs> the pizza is not even in his hand. Like, what? Oh, took shit. the pizza into my room and watched Netflix while we were eating it. Netflix? A few right. hours passed. My mom came up to our room and said, it's time for you guys to go to bed. No. If you need anything, just let me know. My friends brought sleeping bags from their home. So we all got ready to go to bed and lied down. I turned the lights off and went into my bed. And then we everybody each other dreaming, for about 45 nightmares, minutes maybe? until it was around 1145, close uh -huh. to midnight. And we eventually got tired of it. Uh -huh. We closed our eyes, not saying a word to one another. Later that night, I heard rustling coming from the backyard. It sounded like someone was walking on a pile of leaves. At first, I thought it was a cat walking around looking for food as they usually do. However, the next thing I heard was a loud thump. Mm -hmm. It sounded a lot closer and like it was hitting my wall. At that time, we already all got up from our spot and heard all it. All right, well, you have to. We were so scared to look outside through the window and check what was going on. So the, if the then pizza, oh we shit! Saw a hand on the window, lifting it up. Oh outside. no! We all screamed with fear, and the guy still tried to crawl in. But one of my friends thought much faster. He locked the window, and we oh, all ran yes. out of my room. Yes, brave, brave boy. Then our house brave security alarm you. started going off like crazy. My mom, who was sleeping in her bedroom, came out turned it off and asked what was going on. We explained what just happened and looked at the cameras, which were set up outside of our house. Mm. There was a guy quietly trying to come down a ladder. Oh. So I realized the, the thump on the wall creepy? we heard was a ladder. Mom quickly got out her phone and called the police. We locked all of the doors and came back to the monitors to look at the cameras. And we okay. saw the man opened our backyard shed and hid in there. Oh. In just a few minutes, the police yes. were already there arrived. We there we go, the police. Three officers went outside searching for the man while we gave information to the other nightmares. officers. And we told them that we saw the man going into the shed out in our backyard. Uh huh. One of the police so was there. holding a gun, and yes. the other two were approaching closer to the shed. In the blink Ooh. of an eye, they had entered the shed. Found him in the shed hiding, put him in handcuffs <laughs> oh, to arrest him. Oh, that's him. That's delivery him out boy. And put him that's in the back of a police man. car. That time, lots of people heard the noise. Came outside to see what was going on. That's the delivery man. And surprisingly, man. the cops found some things like a knife, hammer, and other from his pocket. Mm -mm. As he was in the back seat of the car, he looked at us and gave us a creepy mm. grin with wide oh. eyes. At first, I couldn't see his face clearly. Mm -hmm. But when I concentrated on focusing it more visibly, I was shocked. Hmm. It was the pizza delivery guy. Yeah. After that, the police handled the situation so we could go oh, back to shit. sleep again that night. I don't know what this guy would have done to us if he had successfully got inside. Guys, I'm a little scared right now. Seriously, true hard sleep. Heard a little story. My name is Drian. Uh -huh. Sleep paralysis happened to me very often until I turned 22. Uh -huh. The first occurrence was when I was 12. Uh -huh. It was summer break time, so we were having a sleepover at my aunt's house for a week. Okay. All my other cousins around Ooh, my age were also there, so I was really excited Look. during that time. One night, all of my cousins and the adults in the house were asleep. I was the only one still awake playing games on my cousin's laptop. I uh -huh. was not scared at all staying up that late because uh -huh. my other young cousins were in the same room as me. After I finished playing games, I went to bed around 2 or 3 a.m. I passed out quickly. Then, I woke up by something that I didn't know. 
and I couldn't move my body. I could only see my surrounding area and my other cousins asleep. Mm -hmm. I panicked and struggled to move. Finally, I was able to wake myself up, so I got up and immediately ran to my aunt's room. Mm -hmm. It was the first time Ooh. I had experienced that kind of situation, All so right. I was crying a lot. She comforted me and let me stay with her until morning. Oh, good aunt. That morning, I did some research on what it was and realized that it was sleep paralysis. Well, they said it happened to many people, so I just oh. thought it was a normal occurrence. Okay. Weeks, but months, it was not. and years passed. Absolutely it was still not. happened to me. But I was not scared of it anymore because I got used to it. I already knew what to do when it happened to me. A few years later, my parents left the house to work overseas. So it was just me, my younger brother, and my older male cousin in our house. One afternoon, it was our grandmother's birthday. I was tired of playing computer game tournaments online all night and needed right. some sleep. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I wouldn't go with them. I told them that I would catch up with them in the evening. I went to bed, and again, sleep paralysis occurred. Mm. It really pissed me off. Because I needed some rest, so I could go to the birthday party and not look tired. Okay. I couldn't move my body, but could still see the surrounding area. But then, something was different. Oh no. There she was. What? Oh. Shit. I saw the silhouette of a woman. Holy she was shit. wearing a black dress. I couldn't tell if she oh was my God, it's scary. It was just oh, her no. hair that almost covered her face. And furthermore. I couldn't completely see her face uh, uh. because it was all blurry. I was so, so scared. What was going on here? She mm. was just standing by the door looking at me as I struggled to wake myself up. Oh no. She looked like she was smiling yeah. and all of a sudden Ooh. she jumped towards Ooh. me and grabbed me. She was trying oh to get God. inside my body. I resisted and oh struggled but couldn't scream at all. After some struggling, oh, I was no. able to push her back and woke myself up. Oh, I screamed you. and was really scared, so I left the house and went oh. to the birthday party. Oh. All my cousins asked me what happened, and I explained it to them. They gave me some advice to just pray before I go to bed. Okay. So this, I this, took their advice and prayed, cool. but it didn't this, work this at all. Be cool. You. It was really scary yeah, because it was the first time that I saw someone or something. Two years later, me and my brother moved uh -huh. to Italy with my parents and we shared the same room. And one night, I went to sleep but my brother was still awake playing okay. computer games. Again, I saw the same dark figure Just of a leave woman her alone. from back in our oh, old house. No. She was at my feet, grabbing my legs, trying to oh, pull me like down. A horror movie. Seriously. I tried to struggle and really wanted to scream for help to my brother, but I couldn't do it. I could see my brother looking at me with a confused face. He, cannot see he thought that maybe I was just dreaming and talking in my sleep. <laughs> the idiot even laughed oh, at no. me. I was just trying to resist and not get pulled by the dark figured woman, and after some struggling, I was able to wake myself up. But this time, I still saw the dark figured woman, but oh, my brother shit. couldn't. I pointed my finger at it, but my brother still didn't see anything. He just said there was nobody there. And seconds or minutes uh. later, it slowly faded. I told my mother about it, and she didn't really believe me and even told me that oh, it was because I didn't what? go to church and pray. That's not a Another good reason. Another night, sleep paralysis occurred again, and I saw this woman again. She was Bitch, really can you leave her alone? I still couldn't see her face. It was all black and blurry. And this time, she literally talked to me. She whispered into my ear. I will give you anything you want. Money, fame, glory. All you need to do is let me in. I told her, no, please leave me alone, and woke myself up again. That was the oh, last time finally. I saw her. That was in 2017, and now it's 2019. Uh -huh. I'm 22 now. 
I'm not scared of sleep paralysis, but well, the only I'm thing actually kind of scared of sleeping. I'm just I cannot sleep. Of that dark figured woman anymore. Oh, oh. Ah. All right, it's over. This was the last story. Holy shit. This night story is scary. Oh, wow. Dumb, like all of them, seriously. But the last one was kind of a horror movie. Mm -hmm. You see these women with long black hairs in the horror movies, not in stories. Well, this is a maybe kind of horror animated story. Okay, that was, that was horror, but kind of fun for me because I love horror things. So thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit the like button. Most of all, please subscribe to the channel for more horror stories, more Billie Eilish reactions, more games, and we'll back with so many other things. So goodbye for now until next time.